Decision wins, tough decision wins over over real formidable opponents since your narrow defeat to MJ. Uh, it, how do you rate your performance tonight? Uh, at the beginning, had to make a few adjustments. Uh, Ricardo was a tough, tough fighter. Uh, he came prepared. He started uh, giving pressures. So I started. Uh, I had to do an adjustment as quick as I can. And, and you just said in the ring. You said it during this week. You've said it for the past couple months now. You are, and you feel you are the WBC mandatory. You feel that you should be fighting the the winner of tonight's main event. Uh, and that's obviously not what is next, uh, Nery Figueroa. Uh, just, just expand on that. Expand on on what you feel is your what, what's next for you. What you're entitled to next. Oh, uh, I, I won the mandatory fight uh, back in September against Payano, the WBC mandatory. I'm the mandatory to fight the champion. Uh, I mean, uh, what well, put me aside? You know, I'm up there. I showed it tonight. Uh, I had a great fight uh, against a great opponent, and uh, I came victorious. So I, I believe I deserve the chance. Right. And, and during the fight, where you said, "I'm still overlooked, and I'm still the guy to be at 122 yeah, after tonight's performance." You know, I, th I think you proved that. But you know, expand on that too. I mean, I was a former unified champion. Uh, I lost against uh, MJ in a close fight. I mean, uh, I, I believe I won that fight, but like, you know, I gotta respect the judge's decision. Uh, I proved it even tonight, you know. I still got it, I'm still up there, and uh, I'm just waiting to get uh, back on top once again. Absolutely, we've got a question to the media. You're good, man. Thank you. Thank you. Danny, well first of all, I wanna say happy belated birthday once again, when I Thank talked you. to you earlier in the week. Uh, you mentioned uh, that you would be celebrating until tonight, until after your victory. So how happy and how uh, happy, how happy are you with your performance tonight? Uh, I got to see the video once again, you know, because uh, being up there, I felt like I did a great job, uh, good adjustments during the fight. Uh, but like, you know what? I'm happy. Uh, I had a great training camp. I got great <clears throat> people around me that helped me to build myself and uh, get back on top once again. And yes, uh, I got my birthday to celebrate. I got Mother's Day. I got to make up too. And I understand you are, you know, adamant about being the, the WBC mandatory. Um, but there's also AJ Abadalia that the fans would like to see that rematch. He's obviously uh, he has the belts that you had. Is that also a fight that you would entertain if given the opportunity? Of course, you know, I'm still I still got to finish business with MJ. Uh, I still want the rematch. Uh, I don't know what he got scheduled. Uh, I got this mandatory schedule for me. But you know what? If that comes first, I'll take it. Dani, felicidades, Dani. El día de hoy, tú te enfrentaste con un rival que tal vez no te tuvieras que enfrentar. Hoy tú, tú pudieras estar peleando contra Luis Neri. Eh, ¿Qué sientes saber ahorita que él va a pelear contra Brandon y que en, y no estás tú con él? Uh, pues, primero, pues, uh, me concentré en el que estaba enfrente de mí, que era Ricardo Espinosa. Ahora todo salió bien, gracias a Dios. Uh, ese, ese rival que pusieron enfrente de mí, yo, yo estoy dispuesto a pelear el quien sea. Uh, yo, yo quería la pelea con Lady, pero él decidió uh, unificar. Uh, respecto a eso, yo también cuando era campeón también unifiqué. Y, y ahora que, que, pueda, que pase esto y gane mejor ahora, y que me den la chance a mí, que merezco. También está Steven Fulton, estaba aquí viendo tu pelea. 
¿Qué mensaje le mandas a él por si en caso él vence a algún día en el futuro a, 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 este, a Lenny o a, a Randy? Oh, estamos en el mismo camino. Él es también campeón de Super Gallo uh, y pues nos podemos encontrar. Es un posible rival en el futuro y pues yo, yo estoy aquí para pelear lo mejor. Él es campeón y eso es lo que yo les quiero pelear. Gracias, Chuck. Daddy, um, in the later rounds, you uh, busted his face and you were hitting him with solid clean shots and yet the fight continued. At any point in time, do you think to yourself like, man, this ref needs to stop this fight. I'm kind of hitting them and everything. Do you, at any point in time, just program that in your head, like, you know, just gotta keep going until it's over? I believe it was uh, going on the ninth round. Uh, the, the referee uh, put me on the neutral corner. I thought they were gonna stop the fight. Uh, he was bleeding, he was hurt. Uh, but you know what, he got a lot of guts. I gotta give him respect for him. He came to fight. He came to die in the ring, but like, uh, it was my night. Danny, congratulations on your victory again tonight. <clears throat> uh, I'd like to revisit the eighth round again. Uh, you seem to be landing your uppercut, particularly in combination and as a counterpunch. Can you talk to us about that? Was that something that you went into this fight thinking that you could land? Yes, uh, that, that's what we practiced uh, during the training camp because he was open for those uppercuts. So we worked on it uh, just at the beginning at the rounds I got it just to uh, add it just to his fighting style. Uh, he was more aggressive than what I thought. Uh, but you know, once I did the adjustments, the uppercuts were landing all night. And with that, though you came out with the victory, uh, once again you absorbed uh, a pretty good amount of punishment uh, until you started making those adjustments. How, how hard were you tonight? Are you, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, the, the guy, uh, he's hard. He's a strong fighter. I knew once going him up in the ring against him, he had a, a high knockout ratio. I knew he was going to hit hard. But you know what? Uh, I was more uh, resilient. I was more resistant. And I took his shots. And uh, but I, I believe he couldn't. He, was, uh, taking, he wasn't taking my shots good. Lastly, I know that you don't really care about who wins tonight. But who do you think you match up best against? Anything nice and everything. Uh, well, both of the fighters come to fight. Uh, that, that's always a, a great style. If I get somebody that comes to fight, that will be forward. I can, I can make my fight, the ones I want to make. Uh, I mean, uh, Nettie's a, a southpaw, uh, Figueroa's a right-hander that comes forward. He got the height. Uh, and for me, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm, I'm, I've been on this business for, for a while now. Like, I, fought, uh, I believe I fought any style. Uh, mostly every style there is in boxing. Danny, we're a, a week from tonight, we're going to have a, the opportunity for a, another unified, fully unified champion at 140 with Tiafimo already standing there. You were a unified champion and you took on the best opponent possible. Yes. Can you talk about how important that is for the sake of boxing, for the best, to seek out the best, even if in your case you lost? Yes, uh, I mean, um, is it, it, well, it's mostly for the legacy for the fighters, you know. Uh, you're in this business, you, you're trying to prove to the world that you're the best. And, and doing that, that's a step closer to, to becoming one of the greatest fighters there is. Um, I believe uh, it's Taylor against uh, Ramirez. Yeah. is going to fight uh, as a great fight. Uh, respect to both fighters. Uh, I mean, they're making the fight happen, you know. And uh, respect to both of them because uh, it takes courage to take a fight like that because uh, you're risking it all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Danny. Appreciate the time. Uh, I mean, speak for someone who's been around a couple of your fights now. It's a pleasure always to watch you out, come out there and perform and put on a show. So thank you on behalf of Showtime and, and everyone here. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Eddie, you, you. you want to add anything to that? Any final thoughts? Listen, Danny fought a very tough fighter today. Not many of these champions will do that. Danny has proven once again that he is the best at the division. Yeah, he uh, made some. Uh, he had a tough first, second, and third round. But from the third round on, Danny sat down and told me his punches are not that strong. I'm bringing him, bringing him down little by little. I can feel it now, and that's what he did. Uh, what can I tell you? Neddy, Figueroa, Fulton, they're going to have their hands full, and Danny will make the proper adjustments against any of them. That's why they are voting him. Okay? The WBC needs to mandate the fight. That's what they need to do, because Danny worked very hard, paid his sanctioning fees, and he proved to the world that he's ready to re to regain his titles again. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, 
then it's a, it's a champion to me, no matter what. Perfect. Thank you, Eddie. Congrats on the win.